Hey, come on in, girls. Hello. <laughs> what paper are you all with? Where was Rand Henry in his football right Rand there? Henry. <laughs> That's quite all right. Is he here? Um, he's sick. He's actually in Virginia. Oh. For the, scrimmage right. on, for, the, for the scrimmage on Saturday, um, how, how you plan on rotating the quarterbacks? Do I get a, get a couple of series here? Yeah, about like always. Yeah, yeah about like always. Uh, yeah, they move around the second, third, and fourth guy every day. Uh, actually, Connor Mitch did a lot better than he's done today. And Perry, Perry Orth. And uh, Brendan struggles throwing the ball some, but he's an excellent runner. So he, don't tell anybody, but he might be our running quarterback. Uh, the, the scrimmage in general, I mean, has been similar to the, the little scrimmage you yeah. had. I mean, young guys mostly and that sort of thing. Yeah, same as we always do. Uh, but other than that, let's see, our girls play uh, Sunday? Sunday night. Sunday night? Yeah. Seven okay. Five. Yeah. Got, I guess some real good teams are going to be playing. Hopefully going to keep playing. we got to beat North Carolina first, of course. But it should be a heck of a game. What are your thoughts on yesterday's ruling at Northwestern that says those guys? Well, I thought are it was employees. interesting. I thought it was very interesting that uh, the National Labor Board uh, ruled that yeah, they they're sort of like employees. But then also read that only the private universities could be so far. It's for only some private reason. schools, yeah. and it's and it's not yeah. even the full board yet. Mm -hmm. but. Well, you know, I've advocated giving. Uh, college football players and college basketball players uh, a stipend and expense money and so forth. And uh, our commissioners and our presidents and our NCAA people have talked about it, but they haven't done anything at all yet. So we'll see if they come up with a plan here real soon. What would be your reaction as a coach if one of your seniors comes to you and says, Coach, we formed a union mm -hmm. and here are our demands. Here are the things that we want. Mm -hmm. What would you do? What would we do? Well, the NFL, they've got a player association. They, right. they did that to, right. to their uh, coaches and their owners. They said, uh, the off season, here's what we want to do. So the owners and coaches said, yeah, okay, we'll do that. I mean, they, they, they want to play. They don't want anything unrealistic. But, uh, I, don't, I don't know that that's what they're trying to do. I think the Northwestern uh, kids were just trying to show that, you know, we work for the university a little bit. We, we bring in a lot of money for the university. And, I think that's what they're trying to say. You see, their, you see their point a little bit. I see their point a little bit. Uh, I hope it doesn't come down to where a team, is, all schools are forming unions. I hope that the NCAA, the BCS conferences especially, that can uh, afford to give a stipend of four to five thousand dollars somewhere in that neighborhood, depending on how many games you play. So college players, football and basketball, uh, can help their parents with travel expenses and so forth. And uh, maybe live a little bit better as a student athlete. You I said think Tuesday or Saturday you're going to do a weekly quarterback depth chart. What does this week mm -hmm. look like? Dylan and Nasovich? No, Nasovich is not going to be two after today's practice or after the scrimmage. Uh, I think Perry Orth and Connor Mitch are co number twos now. Yeah, Nasi had a tough time throwing around today, but he may be better tomorrow, so he's got a chance to come back tomorrow. What has Connor Mitch shown you, I guess? Well, he, he was better today. He got the ball out of his hands and didn't, you know, hold it too long and things like that. And threw the ball. He hit some guys here and there. So uh, maybe he's coming around. He's, he's young. He's been here a year, though, so he should be coming around a little quicker. I think one of the things that you know, I'll be talking about, I guess, is the fact that even, even though there's a 20-hour rule, in fact, they said mm -hmm. these, these kids were devoting 40 to 50 hours a week to football. Is there any way the NCAA can monitor this 20-hour rule? Is it pretty much it's an honor system that you know, a lot of schools are just sort of fudging and trying to get in place? Well, I know, Michigan, I know Michigan got in trouble, in trouble yeah, yeah. with that rule a yeah. while back, four or five years back. And uh, I mean, we go by it. I thought everybody goes by it. Yeah. Uh, but then I read. These teams, they come in on Sunday afternoon. I guess they don't practice on Monday. Is that what they do? Because you have to give them a day off. Don't, yeah, some teams you have to give yeah. them yeah. a day off. Uh, so I don't know, maybe they need to get some writers to see what everybody's well, doing. I, I know someone on, yeah. on the Knights Commission came out recently and said that he thinks that teams are, are fudging. fudging the numbers on their on the reports, the NCAA, to find uh, the 20 hours. So. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know about that. I just know what we do. Yeah. We, we're 10, 20 hours a week, keep the clock, and how much they're in the weight room, meeting rooms, and so forth.
What's impressive about Perry Orth is he's Perry good. throws a good ball. Perry throws a spiral. A lot of times there's not a lot of spirals been going around out here. You notice that, Josh? Yeah. Every now and then there's one, but Perry throws a good spiral. He can zing it in there. So uh, he's, uh, he's doing pretty well for a walk-on kid. Yeah. Beyond so, Shaq and Beyond mm -hmm. Shaq and Pharaoh, who are the wide receivers mm -hmm. that you feel? Well, like I thought Shamir well. Jeffrey had a good good one today. Uh, Demir Bird was out here running around with his uh, gold shirt on. He tried to jump in there for one on one, but we pulled him out. He didn't need to get in there right now. Uh, so let's see, Shamir, Pharaoh. Uh, let's see who else caught a few balls today. Anybody in particular? Carlton Hurd. I tell you what, he must have run. 25 deep routes today. He can run all day. And uh, I think caught a few of them. And some of these walk on kids are doing well. Uh, kid named Matrix over there, number 29. He caught a few oh, balls. Yeah. Big kid. Huh? Yeah, pretty big kid. Yeah. Har Harvey at 6'8 mm -hmm. looks like a guy who you can find a role yeah. for us. Has, has he shown you anything? He does a little bit. He's a big target, as we know. Uh, he's 6'8. <laughs> she said, well, I guess he's a big target. He's 6'8". He is a big guy. Uh, but he's doing fine, yeah. A lot of them are doing fine. Okay. Anything else? Need anything else? Is that enough? Thank you. Is that enough? All right. That's enough. See you on Saturday. All right. All right. Yeah.